penthouse. Let's go to this one. Living in a 45 million now, we NYC all see those super penthouse tall, slender apartment on Billionaires Row. Love them or hate them, they have defined the skyline of New York City forever. The skyscrapers. And what's behind this door is, in my opinion, one of the most spectacular penthouses on mm, Billionaires mm, Row. Mm, 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 Welcome mm, mm, to the 88th floor. Just the door opening. Just the door opening. It's not just a normal door. It's one of those unique ways of entering into a certain space. You know, some people live like gods. Some people actually live like God. Like, they live like kings and gods. I don't know. Billionaires today, millionaires, whatever, they are today's noblemen and kings and queens. And some who are in the billionaire uh, section, they are like the gods. And they live as such. They are being worshipped. God, look at this place, man. While you picking wood off like this, this, this plain door where you're going you're gonna to have to... Nah, some... Oh, my God. Yeah. At 157. Look at this. Look at this. I love the couches. I love the scenery. Oh, if I had 45 million. This penthouse has five mm. bedrooms. It's just five under 6,300 square feet of interior living space. And it has some of the most pristine views of the entire. They, they've actually, um, they've actually like made tours of other houses you can see from here. But this is one of those nicest, nice apartments. I like, I like this. City, it's currently on the market for $45 million. A huge thanks to Ryan Sirhan at Sirhan and Tally McKinney, the listing agents yeah. for letting us tour. They're incredible this thing, and with that, we're gonna just give you a, a raw walk through this space. We're actually in backtrack. Okay. We'll get to the views in a second. Okay. But I want to point out every single detail. So right here, you yeah, have please the, the sliding door. And I'm actually gonna show you. Yeah, you got you gotta start there. This is the elevator. So you okay. So even the okay. So they do have normal doors, but the normal door leads to an elevator, something that you don't have. Come up this elevator, and this is the entire floor, so you don't have any neighbors. You are in the penthouse. There's actually only one above us, which is a duplex. No neighbors. No annoying neighbors. You are above others. You're a king. You don't. You don't. They don't. They're not on your level. <laughs> which no one's ever seen. Bro. So this is as good as it gets. So yeah. right off the entryway, you have your powder room. The views of Billionaires Row. What's a, what's a pattern? Right there. So even check out Billionaires, the mirror. If you... Billionaires Row. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Is that like a section of the city? Oh my God. Somebody's going to know. Somebody will get it. It's like, is, is it you like. Tilt the camera. You can, you know, be doing your business. Toto toilet. Washing up, freshening up with Billionaires Row in the mirror shot while you're checking yourself out. It's pretty. You can be butt ass naked, man, in the skyscraper. Bro, okay, one thing I've always wanted is to be butt ass naked in a skyscraper apartment like this one. You know, like the windows are open and nobody can see you, but there's a chance that they might see you. Only if they look above. You know, how many people look above? Hmm? How many how many people do that? Not, not a lot of people. And you, <laughs> you look above, you're gonna see a naked black man taking a shower. It's like, you know, or not even taking a shower, just standing right there posing. You know, you Superman it. pose. And even if you tuck in here, Blake, I'll show him this. You even oh. have a shower, so this isn't a powder room. This is a proper. Yeah, it's a shower. Bathroom. Yeah, it's a bathroom. Right yeah. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool to be taking a shower and looking at the neighbors over there in those other billionaires row buildings. <laughs> hey, neighbor, <laughs> how you doing? I'm taking a shower. Nah, oh, man. So our way in. Imagine. Okay, okay, let me chill, let me to chill. To the money shot. This is a 57 my foot long great room. Totally open concept. Yo, Eric, my boy. The money shot, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, relax on the videos, man. And let's just break down so some the couches of the views are nice, we are man. here. The couches are so nice. One of the nicest days in the city. It really doesn't get much clearer than this. This is now, starting such, off looking. This is, this is one of those places where you definitely would like be so happy to bring your mothers. Like, you come from the struggle, you buy a place like this, you just bring your mother here, right? You know the whole family will be sitting on that couch, you know, but, you, but your mother, you want your mother's reaction, you want her to like, like that, Ma, I made it, I made it! You know, even your dad, of course, if he's not dead yet, you know? To the east, on a day like today, you can actually Look see the Atlantic yeah. Ocean off in the distance there. We have 111 West 57th mm. right in front of us. 
432 Park Ave a little bit behind that. You have the entirety mm -hmm. of the Upper East Side, the East Bruh. River even further off in the distance. You know what's crazy? It's like, it's like the sections to, to each place. When you are literally like in a skyscraper, you can see rich areas and poor areas and obviously normal areas. You know, you can see it all, like it's all in your perspective. Like life, you can see life happening, you know. You can point out, hey, that's a poor area neighborhood, that's a rich neighborhood, you know? Even further beyond that is the Long Island Sound. I mean, do you feel bad? No, you're a millionaire. You know, of course you don't feel bad. And then making our way to your... Here's, here's my question. Why don't the rappers, the, the artists, the, the, the famous people, why don't they buy these places, right? Why, why don't... Even, like, the billionaires, like, the, the, they don't buy these places. They don't buy these places, like... Jeff Bezos, like, why don't you buy this place? I don't get it. Direct northern facing views. We Damn, are dead set place. front and center on Central Park. Mm. You can even see everyone down in Sheep's Meadow getting some oh, sun. The, the Lobo Pond off. The ants, let's look at them. Ants. That's just a bunch of ants. Look at them. You can just step over them. Just like that. This is what politicians, this is what the government, this is all, what all rich society says about all of us. They're like, ah, oh, ants. On no. the robo pond off the distance, of even further yes, than that, the reservoir. Looking here. past Take. further there, you have Harlem and you Harlem. have prime views of the Hudson River, George Washington mm. Bridge, all oh, of the Upper that. West Side. I mean, even you're at eye level with yeah, look at that plane. By. We're 88 floors in the sky above Central Park. That's just that's kind of a <laughs> that's, that's kind of cool. Oh my goodness, Joko. Yes, yes. Yo. These ads, man. Come on, man. Get out of here, bro. Looks like a bunch of fire buds in a trap. Come on. So, bringing it back inside the apartments, yeah. we have here the seating area, mm -hmm. cove lighting here in the ceilings. Look at with that this chandelier. Just chandelier over top. Mm -hmm. Huge L couch. This is kind of the entrance. You know what's area, crazy? You know? Take off your shoes. This is. You know what's crazy? It looks warm. It looks very warm in this place. Also, a no shoes apartment. I want to point that out. Along the back yeah, of, of the course, wall here. Goes These panels saying. are actually okay, so, storage okay. units. So this whole nice. far back wall has nice. built in storage, which nice. I think is a nice touch because you wouldn't really want shelving in this space. It's very yeah. minimal uh, and at the same yeah, time very, ornate. So shelving is all hidden. It's very, it's very hidden actually. It's very, very hidden. I wouldn't, I don't, I'm not a fan of the color of this whole place, but it's a, it's a nice, I like the touch. I like the, the taste, I mean. Of everything. And this is just a nice, area in between your sitting area and mm. your formal dining room. We've got seating for 10 here. Again, cove lighting overhead, another ornate. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, if, I, if I'm that rich, if I'm this rich that I can afford a place like this, I will have 10 kids, no, eight kids. That's for the king and queen, of course, but I will have eight kids. Chandelier, the views just continue. Now you can really see the whole depth of this 57 foot long great room. And now we're going over to the west. I'm actually gonna toss my shades on because I call this a sunglass apartment where you're so high up and it's so bright you actually need shades inside. So I wonder, is it west, does it get hot? You have a view of Central Park Tower when you're this close to in the front sun. of you, which you can actually look up. Like we're high right now. That's I believe 110 Damn. stories, and that penthouse was just listed for 250 million dollars. Yo, we so have comment to... below if you want to see a tour of that. Let yeah, us... of, of course. When was this video taken? Two months ago. You better have to, you better have to. No, now making our way out of that great room, dining room, we're into our kitchen. Let's go, So kitchen. here you have a breakfast nook. We have zebra wood whoa, all along whoa, the walls. Whoa, 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 what the hell is that? What is, what is all of this? What is that? The color, oh my goodness, oh my God, that's, that is not good. That's not good at all. Mm, 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 mm. That is so not okay. Oh God, that's. That is terrible. Look at the color. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And the cabinetry. You got your built-in television. More pantry storage Te space here. Why do you need television? Why do you need television in the kitchen like that? Why is it even there? Why is there a table there? This is supposed to be the kitchen, right? I love how just masculine this Am kitchen I wrong? feels. You've got the black quartzite on the countertop of this central okay. island. Oh my God, but the color still. The color is killing it. Like it's not like it's murdering it. Like not not in a good way. Melee cooktop here, and again that zebra wood accents on all the cabinets. 
even you have a mule. It's so shiny. It's just so shiny. Chino maker. It's what you would expect for $45 million. You know, I don't have to go over all the finishes in this kitchen. They're just the best of the best. And so then out of the kitchen. You know, with 45 million, man, I better be able to renovate this place. Like, like for real. Like, I'm not going to tolerate this. This is too shiny. It's supposed to be a kitchen. It's not supposed to be a mirror room. It's not supposed to be a bedroom. It's not supposed to be a billionaire's role where you get to see yourself naked or you, other, I don't know. The reflections, they're not unnecessary completely. And those, that table and those chairs, man, who thought of that? Did they just get them anywhere? Like a thrift store? Like what the hell's happening, dog? No, man. I hate it, Dabai. Uh-uh, man. Can it's we not okay. To your gallery hallway. Now I will film this just because mm, this the kitchen could be is horrible. a co-room, a welcome room, and this actually okay. shuts off from the rest of the apartment. So these walls turn flush. I, I'll shut it so you can see. So that's just flush. Okay, but what's hidden. it for? But this is your gallery hallway connecting the okay. north to the southern exposure and the track okay, lighting. Yeah, this, this is gallery grade. So this could be used to show off an art okay. collection. The perspective in here is just wild. Again, 6,300 square feet just under of interior living space is hey, huge. But damn, man, so like to my right it's, here, it's, this it's, is the uh, first game. Come to think of it, it is 45 million. I just kind of realized it's 45 million, and but I don't know. The space is like 2 million. You feel me? Like the, the, the house design itself is just worth 2 million, but it's like... It's a skyscraper type of thing. It's not special that much, I'm saying. I'm just saying, like, it's not that special. It's just everything combined. Guest bedroom facing west, so you have all that sunlight flooding in. Views of Central uh, Park Tower, the Hudson River. Million for this. Uh, also, very decent sized think, guest you know? room. And I do want to point out. But it is, it is, it is, like it is, it is. Imagine if you're a kid, right? Imagine you're a kid, you're just a young kid, man. And then you, this is your bedroom. This is your bedroom, bro. Also, oh, your very guess. decent size guest. Look, look at this. Like, bro, like, imagine you can study right there on that table over there. It's a nice, decent room, right, for, like, a, a young kid, you know? And it's Best like room. you have... And I do want to point out... Damn. Okay, you know what? If I had kids, I wouldn't want to live here. The kid will have an ego the size of this skyscraper. Of course, in a place like this, all the guest bedrooms have ensuite bathrooms with just an amazing stone... Automatic total toilets that will open up, heat your butt, do all the magic that they do. But back oh, that magic, man, that magic. We need that magic in South Africa, man. What, what do they call it? A bidet? The thing that uh, squirts water on your butt crack, you know? On that line, after you just took a dump. You know, instead of flushing, of course, you uh, press a button and then... It just, it just spits. Okay, so here's the... The line, the line, okay, whatever, the line is right here. Just... Okay, no, 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 okay, so the butt crack is right here, right? Washes everything off, man. Makes it easy. Back onto the gallery hallway. I'm going to show you the whole place. Easy. We have another guest bedroom let's off go, to the right. Go, this is go. a mirror image of the one we just saw. Mm -hmm. okay. Again, there's western views, tons of sunlight here. And then we can pop our heads into this. Hey, bro, if you had bathroom, kids, you don't, like, you, don't, you don't want kids to grow up here. They, they, will, they will be so spoiled. High shower, oh, again, like, <laughs> the toilets that are smart, and they know when you're in here, you, know, you go That's, to Japan, every bathroom's a nice total toilet. I wish, I wish they would also make them like, um, like you can rent out this place. That's, That's what I would want. Toilet. So back onto the hallway. There's a flathead. Did you, did you see a We'll save that for a bit. Here? Here's your laundry room. And then at the very end here. Okay. This is another guest bedroom. No ensuite bathroom in this one, but here you have those southern views. Mm -hmm. So all that natural sunlight, and now you have views of everything downtown. You have yep. the newly built sun observation deck. The wait, classic wait, hold on. Empire. You know, I'm not, I'm not. You have listening. views. Another guest bedroom. Okay, it's no a guest bedroom. Okay, okay. I wasn't listening. I don't know. My mind is shut off for some reason. Ensuite bathroom in this one, but here you have those southern views. So all that natural sunlight, and now you have views of everything downtown. You have the newly built sun observation deck, the classic Empire State Building, and then all the way downtown, One World Trade Center. You can even see the statue. Um, of I don't know. You know, there's a, there was a hype about this whole thing. Now it's like I don't, I don't know. I have that hype. It kind of died down. You know, I don't know. I thought I thought I was I I was excited about this this house this type of house, but. Now it's like, uh, I don't know, it's not as impressive as I 
as I expected it to be, or does it make me feel good, you know? Money is not the key to happiness. Liberty, $45 million is an extreme amount of money, but when yeah, you really is, think it about is. it, this is a living art piece, you know? Seeing the city change and the colors and the weather okay. in itself is just... So here we have a corner unit, so now we have those southern it's and not, western views. It's, it's not gonna make your life better though. It's just not, you know? But it is the, it is a skyscraper, you know, it's, it's a nice view, man, it's a nice view. And it's more worth it if you accomplish it alone. You know, as in like, you don't have to ask for nobody for money, okay? As in like, you know, don't, don't be out here, um, you know, going into these streets for money. Views, tons of sunlight the entire day. Again, more of the same views. Mm -hmm. There's some perspective of how H &M. large this room is. Got a queen size bed in here. That's a main we'll bedroom. Pop into the bathroom. This is the shared bathroom for these yeah, two bedrooms. Okay, so it's all everywhere. guest Floors, bedrooms. Walls. Back out into your gallery hallway. Okay, We're now going to go to the owner's wing. So the owner Thank of this you. place gets an entire oh, wing. And I will painting. show you this because we oh. do have the full floor. Here's the other view of the Ooh. vestibule, and there's the front door. It looks like one of those hallways in the Matrix Revolution. No, reloaded. Yeah. I guess this could be the back door. I guess there really is no back door, but that's the second door. Keep that locked so no one comes up. And okay, we have the, the owner's wing. Exactly. But before we show you the bedroom, I want to show you the bathroom. Because the bathroom, man, the bathroom is something else. What? You have New <laughs> sunlight two-in-one washing powder. Leaving longer lasting fragrance. My man, you're wasting all your time trying to learn how to trade forex. Shut up! You have marble everywhere. You've got your floating vanity because, Whoa. of course, you wouldn't want to block out your view. So, you have southern views, you have mm -hmm. everything One World mm -hmm. Trade Center, Empire State Building, some observation deck. Mm -hmm. We have your frosted glass with this the, is the main black metal. This, this is, is this is the main bathroom. This is the bathroom for the gods right here. This is it. The king of the house and the queen of the house. This is where they 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 wash their balls. You know, this is where they do their thing. You know, they make more babies, of course. This is where they do their thing. You know? And I I don't know, the colors they don't they don't look so good, but I like it. The first I, like, theme show. I like the fact that it has its own wing. Hour. So could you imagine turning on a hot shower with your view downtown? It's you know, come to think of it, yeah, I wouldn't want people to see me and my wife naked. You know, I don't know. Something about that. I don't know. I kind of feel different now about it. That I take it back, you know, maybe it's not such a perfect thing for people. Whether you're in a skyscraper or not, whether people can see you or not, all it takes is for somebody to look up and they can see you naked. I'm, I'm just saying. Something that uh, it's hard to fathom the level of, um, of just of luxury that this is. And here you have another nice. side, your water closet, which is pretty massive with, of course, a bidet because... You know, if you had the toilet on the side of the sh where the shower is, and whenever you take a dump, you're just looking at the, at the view. You see, if that was the case, you see, if that was the case, nah, come so on. You get the butt cleaned, you got your bidet, and then in yeah, the center the bidet, here, man, the bidet, right? carved That's out the of bathroom. marble, you've got your oversized pop up here. Side. Again, with those downtown views. And actually, I just noticed this. This whole room is a shower, so Blake, it's a shower you, shower, up, yeah. you have yeah. a rainfall shower head. You have what? another one here, the what? detachable one, all your controls, and I think these are even jets that shoot out. So this is just like the water fun palace here, and even yeah. I'll show this. This is a little butt seat here carved out of the marble to sit that Woo! way or sit this way. And, yes, and sit this way. sir. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, this I would love. This I would definitely love so much, man. Just like, you know, just naked, just chilling right there, man. Like, yo, <laughs> baby girl is washing, you know, you know, she's scrubbing that butt cheek. is like, you know, got to scrape it properly, you know, can't, can't just go on, you know. Can't go to the next level with a dirty ass, I'm just saying. You get the view. What would you even call this? Comment down below what you would call this. And then connecting yes, on the sir. Oh, we lock now. On the other yeah. side, it's a mirror image, so you have another. And this is such a. Vanity. This is one of those comp like what?
What? It has a second shower. Hold and on. another shower. Just marble everything. Marble shower. Okay, let's not inspire people to have too many showers here, okay? Come on. Oven built in. Rainfall shower. This, this is one of those things that encourage people to divorce. I'm just saying. Shower head. Separation again, is not bathroom. key. No bidet in this one. This bathroom not, alone, I should not make bidet. a tour of. Like, this uh, could be some God, tour. No. Also, make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I post a lot more there. These are the more raw, behind-the-scenes looks. Go, go, go uh, follow him on TikTok. Uh, I'll show you the closet. So there's two walk-in closets. As you can see, the owners still live here, so all their clothing's in here. And then Wait, oh, wait, this okay. Is the, no, so it does have owners. Okay, nice. The second That's one good to know. With pocket doors. Really decent sized closet space. Nice. And then at the very end of the owner's hallway, Woo! you have a pocket door leading in to the owner's bedroom where you have views to the north, the east, Man. and the south. Right off the door, you have the sitting area with a T. Is it, is it weird? But I wouldn't even want to have a bed. Okay, I know I said I, 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 I don't know. I don't want family or I want family, whatever. But like, I wouldn't imagine myself being with family in a house like this. I, I really wouldn't. But it's such a good place to be in. If you're in New York, you're super rich, you rent out this place or you, um, you know, uh, what do you call this? You, um, you bought it, you own it. But, you know, you only come here to, like, you know, uh, whenever you're, you're this side. You know, so you and your mama see that, you know, you, you just, you're there, you know. You know, you're, you're there, you're just, like, you know, chilling, you know. Y'all can watch the TV in the, in the main. Wait, is, was there? Was there a living room at all? There, there wasn't a living room here. There's no living room. I just realized that. TV, but I don't think anyone in the right mind would be watching TV if they lived here. You could just sit yeah, and get no, a view of all this. Get you some nice tight shots there. Central Park, Woo! Sheep's Meadow, look north here. Then making our way around to your eastern views. You've got all your neighbors on Billionaire's Row. And then finally, you've got your sunglass southern views because the sun is bright up here. One World Trade as, Center, as Empire should. State Building, the same old, same old, just basically all of Lower Manhattan at your fingertips here. If you woke up in the morning, you would have the sunrise, the views to the south. I mean, Yo, let, me, let me see the comments, man. Let me see the comments. After a while, it feels like someone lured an office to a hotel trying to make it hard. Look at the criticism, man, to a hotel that's trying too hard. It feels cold and almost industrial. I'm imagining myself sitting alone in the Great Hall and feeling incredibly lonely, alone. It's like, wow, damn, man. I mean, <laughs> you ain't going to live there, bro. So you don't have to worry about that. If you could afford this place, you could afford to decorate it however the hell you want. Put all the cheap, dirty rugs there if you want. It's nice, but it doesn't feel like home. More like a hotel. Something tells me we'd all be, we'd all be buying this cold bubble rock and, and ish if we were that rich. Exactly. Easy to keep clean, hard to damage. You know you'd want to show something that expensive off to everybody you know. Looks like it's designed for parties and also resetting in mind. Damn, like poor people. Poor people are talking about this. Poor people. You know, and I can't even... Even have a morning coffee out in the open. What? $45 million and I can't even have a morning coffee. Okay. Definitely want to see the two. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I want to see. I want to see that too. I want to see that too. I love New York. I'm so happy I was able to see the beautiful city from all corners. All thanks to my financial mentor. What the? You know these scammers, man. I would really want, want in the third bedroom to be... Okay, you know, this is... I'm looking for people who are gonna make fun of it. They're not really helping right now. I, I do want your opinion. So, you know, nowadays on social media, there's tons of apartment tours. What mm -hmm. do you think of this place? Is it worth $45 million? What's your favorite feature? Uh, I wanna thank you for watching this video, taking the time out of your day. Is it worth 45 million? You're asking me? I mean, oh man, okay. My analysis is that I don't think it's worth 45 million. Yeah, I, I just don't. I just don't think it's it's worth that much. I just don't. That's just my opinion. I, I think it's worth twenty. You know, twenty is reasonable. Twenty is reasonable. Okay, we shouldn't be crazy out here. Okay, no, not even maybe maybe fifty. Ah, uh, let me be generous. Eighteen, eighteen, eighteen is generous. Yeah, eighteen. 18, 18 million. Yeah, that's where you start. Negotiation tactics. You always aim lower than how much you're willing, not than however you're willing to pay. They'll always set it at a higher price. 45 million, bro. 
the people that bought this house didn't buy it for 45 million. I swear they probably didn't. Because who is going to buy that house? Who? Who? Who's out here in the auctions? Oh, 45. Okay. Why not? I'm a millionaire. I'm a billionaire. Great. But I just don't want to splunge 45 million just like that. I could be living in a hotel when I'm in New York. You know, I don't come to New York to live here. How many millionaires and billionaires? By the way, those people are the 1% of the entire world. Less than 1%, sorry, of the entire world. 1% of each country. How many of them are going to be like, I, I want property in New York? You know, if they come to New York, they'll always have a hotel planned out. There's hotels out here. You know, there's like those places. They don't need to buy a 45. They don't need to spend 45 million on this thing. It's not 45. It's not worth 45 million. I'm telling you, 15. 15 million. Come on now. Be reasonable. Okay? Anyway, that's, that's my take.